welcome back friends this is dr mr lecturers don't forget to click the subscribe button and to click the bell then put all for more updates to join our telegram group for discussions just click show more in the description then if you scroll down you see the links for the o level and a level group welcome back friends this is that smarter one of the facilitators in this session i am dr mlelo uh if you remember in the previous session we discussed the about the deviation of the lil gases from ideal gases and we ended our discussion about the amagat curve so today in this session uh, we are continuing with the abnormal results of molar mass measurement in gases um one thing that you should know is that in gases sometimes tunavopima molar mass ya gas tunaweza kukuta either molar mass imeongezeka au imepungua and most of time inaweza kawa molar mass imedabo au ime, ime half so tukisema molar mass imedabo maana yake become two times of the original wakati ikiwa ime half maana yake may become uh, nusu yani 0.5 times the original molar mass of the gas so tunachosema ni kwamba sometimes measurement of molar masses gives unexpected results by giving the molar mass either greater or less than expected value this is due to the dissociation or association kwa hiyo molar mass ya gesi inaweza ikaongezeka au ikafanyaje ikapungua hiyo inategemea kama hizo gesi molecules zimeandago dissociation au association now in this a uh, part of abnormal results of molar mass measurement tunaenda kuangalia kuhusu dissociation pamoja na association of gases pamoja na calculations zake kwa hiyo first let's look on the concept of dissociation what is dissociation so dissociation is the splitting of one larger molecule to give more than one smaller molecules dissociation leads to increase in number of particles than expect number of particles increase in number of particles leads to increase in the volume of a gas so now uh, taking the ideal gas equation if you remember it uh, pv is equal to nrt so now uh, tunachokiangalia hapa ni nini ni number of particles kwa dissociation so uh, dissociation dissociation kama tuliko tuna one particle uh, ika dissociate maybe ika form two o ika form gapi o ika form 3 particles so the number of particles have been increased so from the ideal gas equation kama vile unaweza kuona kwamba pv is equal to nrt so number of moles is equal to mass divided by molar mass tunachotaka kuangalia hapa ni nini uh, ni effect ya dissociation kwenye molar mass je molar mass itaongezeka au ita itapungua kwa tukija kuangalia hapa tutakuja kuona molar mass ni sawa na mass divided by number of moles Now you see uh, e number of moles actually e sio number of particles kwa sababu number of particles unaandika kama uh, capital n lakini what we know is that uh, number of moles ile pale pia is that proportional number of particles yule pale unaona number of moles that proportional to the pale na ndio maana kuna formula huwa unasema number of moles is equal to number of particles divided by avogadro's constant n a So now if the number of moles is that proportional to the number of particles that means if the number of particles n increases also the number of moles n will increase Okay anyway unachotakiwa kuelewa hapa ni kwamba the increase in number of particles will lead to lowering of the molar mass that means molar mass uh, is equal to mass divided by number of moles but number of moles hata tukisema kwamba number of moles now is equal to number of particles divided by avogadro's constant now in such equation pale utapata molar mass is equal to mass divided by number of particles then n a so you get molar mass is equal to mass avogadro's constant then divided by n so n represents number of number of, of particles kwa tunachokisema ni nini kwamba dissociation in increase in number of particles and for this equation keeping m times avogadro's constant uh you upon sawa sana constant k 
constant k kwa nini tunasema constant k kwa sababu gesi inapo dissociate sio kwamba mass yake inaongezeka no ni kama vile tumechukua kitu cha kilo tano tumekigawa kwenda kwenye kilo nne na kilo moja kwa hiyo uh, partitions zimeongezeka maana yake tumekuwa tuna kilo nne na tuna kilo moja now we have two partitions instead of one partition lakini hatujaongeza mass the total mass is still is equal to 5 so mass haibadiliki na value of constant haibadiliki so now uh, keeping this as constant k utapata molar mass is equal to nini constant k then divided by nini by n so simply molar mass will be inverse proportional to the number of particles so because coming from this uh, concept let's call this equation 1 from this concept because dissociation increases the number of particles increase in number of particles will increase the volume because volume of gas is directly proportional to the number of particles but increase in number of particles will decrease the molar mass listen to me increase in number of particles increase in number of particles n will lead to increase in volume also increase in number of particles n will lead to decrease in molar mass kwa hiyo kiufupi hicho ndicho ambacho tunatakiwa kujua hii ni relation nayo kuonyesha kwamba molar mass and number of particles they are inverse proportional lakini ukiona hiyo njia ndefu basi come here and say pv is equal to nr t then say number of moles equal to mass divided by Moramas. so pv will be is equal to uh, number of uh, i mean mass divided by moramas r t so kitakachokuepo hapo maana yake utakuja kuona kwamba uh, moramas itakuwa sana mass r t divided by p v so moramas itakuwa sana uh, 1 divided by v then m r t divided by p uh, Ichi kitu chote kitakuwa constant kwenye dissociation. Ichi kitu chote kitakuwa constant. Na nataka tu nikuonyeshe kitu kwamba uh, if increase in number of particles will lead to increase in volume. And then kama number of particles it increase it increase volume. Then you want to see the relationship between volume and molar mass. Now we have already seen in this relationship uh, derived from the ideal gas equation or uh, that volume is in inverse proportion to molar mass volume in inverse proportion to molar mass that means increase in volume will lead to decrease in in molar mass so that's the simple concept that you should understand in in dissociation co provided hivyo hapo uh, parameter hizo hapo umeshaona hapo kwamba volume itakuwa in inverse proportion to nini to molar mass so volume of a gas varies in inverse proportion to its molar mass increase in the volume of a gas as a result of dissociation leads to decrease in the molar mass dissociation makes the measured molar mass ambao tunaita observed molar mass of the gas to be smaller than expected one or it's a normal molar mass from molecular formula a fraction of a gas molecule dissociated is known as degree of dissociation uh, is known as degree of dissociation. Kwa hiyo sasa unachotakiwa kuelewa ni kwamba kuna kitu tunakiita expected molar mass na kitu tunakiita observed molar mass. Kwa hiyo concept hii it is very important to understand it. Um tunaposema expected maana yake nini? Let's say we have uh, we have this gas N2O4. Then to say expected molar mass itakuwa ngapi? Expected expected molar mass tunaweka kutoka hapo hapo nitrogen ngapi uh, nitrogen ni 14 mara mbili nitrogen ni 14 mara mbili toka hapo hapo utapata 28 jumlisha oxygen ni 16 mara 4 utapata 64 so 28 jumlisha 64 hapo utapata 12 hapo utapata uh, hapo nane na ile moja itakuwa 92 gram per mole. So this is what we call as expected molar mass. Observed molar mass 
observed mwana masi ile mwana masi ambayo tutai measure measured experimentally so tutafanya experiment then kwenye ile experiment tuta measure mwana masi na kama hatutaweza ku measure kwa sababu mwana masi of guess at image direct we use the dirigas equation pv is equal to n r t uh, and pv is equal to m r t divided by mwana masi so if we are able to measure other parameters then you can get molar mass is equal to mrt divided by p by pv. Ko tunavyosema tuna measure molar mass manake sio kwamba tunapima gesi yenyewe no. Uh, tunapima molar mass ya gesi no we are measuring the parameters mass uh, ile pale is, is known temperature then pressure and volume of the gas. Then we are using the ideal gas equation to calculate the molar mass of the gas. That is what we call the observed molar mass kuta kuna observed pamoja na expected monomers na tumesema kwenye dissociation the observed monomers will be lower observed observed monomers uh, will be lower than expected expected monomers hicho ni kitu muhimu ambacho tunatakiwa kujua kwenye kwa dissociation na tumesema kiwango au asilimia ya gesi fraction ya gesi ambayo imedissociate tunaita ni degree of dissociation kwa mfano gesi yetu tuliyochukulia hapo juu let's say tuna hiyo dinitrogen tetra tetroxide ina dissociate kwenda kutengeneza two molecules of nitrogen dioxide so now from dinitrogen tetroxide kwenda kuform nitrogen dioxide maana yake uh, labda kama hapa tuko tuna one one more initially then kutoka na zero huku tukaweka 1 minus maana yake hapo kutoka kuna kiwango fulani a certain fraction has been dissociated we can call it as a degree of dissociation alpha so degree of dissociation is represented by alpha and if fraction ambayo impungua hapa ndio automatically uh, kwa sababu tunaangalia stoichiometric coefficient maana yake two times of this fraction will be increased in the next side so it is 2 alpha on that side so kiofupi tu ndio hivyo this alpha we call it as a degree of dissociation a uh, degree of dissociation dissociation na hapo tumeshaangalia concept ya concept of dissociation na tunaweza kuiona degree of dissociation so for example here we have two equations we have two equations a uh, equation ya kwanza hapa ni nitrogen tetroxide ina dissociate kwenda kuform uh, nitrogen dioxide ko one more i mean one molecule of nitrogen tetroxide ina kutengeneza two molecules of nitrogen dioxide so this is dissociation dissociation sifa yake lazima molecule moja ikatengeneze molecule nyingi i also this is dissociation of nini uh sulfur trioxide kwenda kuform sulfur dioxide and oxygen gas so two moles of sulfur trioxide they form uh actually they form two moles of dinitrogen uh, dinit i mean sulfur dioxide the oxygen gas kwa hiyo kifupi that's the concept of dissociation so in this lecture ngoja niishi hapa na kwenye kipindi kijacho tunaangalia a uh, calculation of the degree of dissociation and the concept of van der Waals factor this is a very important concept kwa sababu hautazitumia tu kwenye gases hata tutakavyoenda Uh, in some of the questions utakuta zina mix the concept of uh, equilibrium and the concept of gases and they want you to use this concept of degree of dissociation and van der Waals factor uh, to calculate for your final answer because you, they are very important sessions don't forget to subscribe the channel and to share the link for this video for your fellow student to assess this lecture so thank you everybody let me wish you nice studies